join us to yeah yeah here we are it's uh sam and rafael and michael and alex and we're joining us in a minute we're going to be doing some async catch up an exciting weekend that took place there um yeah uh we'll we'll, we'll i guess yeah, a lot of things going on um just before we dive into async photo yeah we've got this ongoing thing with the google hangouts there's a bit of a a fix has been put in place it looks like junior used that on the saturday morning on the saturday and it kind of went well yes I, and I, it went well yeah and and then on the sunday instead of a scrum kind of like a pair programming event was started yeah um, we, uh well it was kind of more of just uh a little bit of an extended discussion of the things that we sure. were doing. Uh, so, I think I posted those links to the. Yes. Yeah. So Sam, how do you do this now? You, you basically create an event like to get it to ping Slack. Yes. You can't just create like a hangout directly from the project page anymore, right? Because that's no, no. that's no. an instance, and it yeah. doesn't work. No, so indeed. You I need to like... create a, like a separate event. Yes, like scheduled event. The, new, the new functionality, and uh, hi, Ed, the new functionality that we have um, that I demoed at the very beginning of the, uh, the Scrum just now, but people might not have seen, is now, uh, as was always the case, there on the event, on the kind of upcoming events, the site is being quite slow at the moment. Um, if you've got, like, so for example, here's the next one, the Kemp Beck Scrum is upcoming um, later this afternoon. For anybody who's logged into the site, there's this event action and there's edit hangout link. So this has always been there. It's always been there as a manual override that has sort of works radically. I've now, this now works and it will, if you post a link in there, it will keep the event live for the duration of the event and it will also ping Slack. So it'll keep it live for your scheduled duration. It will keep it live for the scheduled duration. You know, not, like, not the real duration. Not necessarily the real duration because we're not getting feedback from the, the, the hangout plugin. Uh, and it will ping Slack uh, in the appropriate channels. So is there thoughts of like reworking the flow? Like there's several things that I'm thinking. Yeah. Like on the project page, right? Sure. So there, there, there is a number, uh, of, there's a number of things. But before you dive into that, I think maybe we, there's definitely something I want to be looking into and considering. But we've got people here, I think, who are specifically interested in the async voter uh, thing. The, I, I, I'll just go to back to Raphael's point there. Totally take your point, Raphael, that it was more of an extended discussion on the Sunday. I'd still very much encourage you, even if it's just, even if that's just the plan, to start the um, the the thing through the actual Scrum. Um, in that, it kind of a lap. What it does is that it might help snag other people who are not necessarily in the async voter channel. Do you know what I mean? Wow. Gotcha. Yeah, um, somebody's interested, but. Because it was somewhat of an ad hoc meeting, um, sure. like I, I'm not, it's not kind of quite clear to me which mm. one I should be editing that link on and that type of thing. Oh, sure, no, absolutely, and I, 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 like the interface at the moment is is, is horrible, and um, I think that's something we've got to do a lot of uh, a lot of work on. Um, yes, to try and make that make that better. I mean, fantastic that you're. All of you are, are using the system at all under the current levels of duress. So, so, so all, all kudos uh, to you. I mean, the the, the thing just to be, uh, and I'm saying this not. You, I think you're already very clear on this, Raphael. Just just for for clarity, is that if we if you do edit that link and you know it ends up you end up getting um, the notifications. We get a channel thing here to the stand up notifications. So people that are interested in stand ups will hear about it, and it goes out into the um, the general one with this here thing. So. Um, even if you're having, kind of, it depends, absolutely. If you're having a meeting and you're kind of like, okay, this is a meeting for us and we don't want to be distracted by other random people coming in, you know, or, or we only really want to, we want to restrict it to the async voter channel, totally. Um, if, if there's, but if, if you're open and flexible, because I mean, partly that's what the whole agile is built on, um, you know, do, doing the scrums and then, you know, potentially in, introing, you know, and onboarding new people is very welcome. But don't, don't feel compelled to do that. Just, you know, I, I just want to make sure, sure everybody's aware that there is that mechanism available for them when they when they want it. So, uh, uh, Sam. Yes, go on, Michael. Um, I was thinking that probably what we want to do with the website one interface uh -huh. um, to make it clear to people. 
Yes. When they come to that event page, there should yeah. be maybe a link mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. says, "I'm, you know, how does this work?" Or, yeah. "This is my first time creating an event." Absolutely. It, Absolutely. it pushes pushes to a wiki page. Yes. That we've gone through and captured screenshots to explain the process. Absolutely. Yeah, we need to do exactly the same in the MOOC to update the description there. And, and um, I, 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 I totally agree with you. I would apologize for why it's that way. Yeah, I, I've updated the MOOC description in that way. I think you're absolutely right. But maybe let's get it. Let's get into that probably in a separate website. One thing that we we, we cover uh, okay. in, in a bit. Let, let's um, I think particularly Raphael was in the scrum saying he had some questions about the direction of async voter and what's going on. Uh, Rafael, do you just want to like because some people weren't in the scrum want to want to review where things are from your point of view and we'll, we'll kind of focus. Sure, I, I've actually got a number of votes, a, a number of excuse me of items to discuss. So if you don't sure. mind me sharing my screen and go right ahead a bit of your time for a bit, um, let me sorry screen share. There we go. Share, brilliant. So. Uh, a couple of things. Number one uh, was I was reading and rereading. I was trying to, I was reading what you were posting in the Async Voter channel, Sam, mm. um, regarding, you know, let's not be so database centric and this is what mm. the story is. But, mm. I mean, I was thinking that, but also I was thinking, but we still need some form of persistence, whether that be in memory or, or whatever, and we still need the story model. Mm -hmm. to, be, um, uh, to be somewhat well defined so we can just push on and start getting stuff done. I, f I feel like we're spinning our wheels a little bit. We're all kind of new to this technology and we're spending mm -hmm. a lot of time um, just educating ourselves and each other. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so I took a look at uh, the model. Uh, can I interrupt it for a second? Um, sure. Are we considering changing this to ballot, or have we all decided story is better? Uh, we've all decided story is better. Yeah, I think we've gone. Yeah, we had a meeting on Friday. I think uh, story is the way to go. Wow. Just because the story describes a feature or a bug or or, or whatever, while ballot there's ballot is really synonymous with vote, uh, and I think there are other reasons given. People from non-English speaking backgrounds may also be a little bit confused. May not have heard the term ballot before. So right. no, that, was, that was the big that was the big deciding factor for me. I think is that is that it, the ballot is a confusing term for people who are not so familiar with it. With you know, English, where English is not the first language. Yeah, and even if it is, it still can be confusing. Mm. So I think we we decided that story is actually pretty fairly descriptive. So for the moment, we're sticking with with the story. Um, and I, I looked at the story and I thought, well, what are the key pieces of information that we know? Because before we had, I think, name, Earl, and size. Yes. And I thought, really, I, the size is a result. And yeah. I kind of factored that out. And I thought, the name, the Earl, and the, and the person who started it uh -huh. are the most important pieces. And also, where is where is the what the status is is also so I kind of added this enum string, um, okay, in here, and this yeah. is kind of how I view the story. I've yeah. kind of done my own little brand, little private branch from my own sure. repository just to try yeah. these ideas out, yeah. um, and regarding that also, I thought in our we were passing around IDs. Uh -huh. um, let me just switch back to single view. Uh, if I can remember the keystrokes, there we go. Um, so we had a uh, find by ID. Um, excuse me, find by ID. I've actually changed that find by name because the two candidate identifiers that we had were the name and the yeah. URL. And I th was thinking also about what Sam was saying, what Sam had posted some links uh, regarding Robert C. Martin's clean code and design. Mm -hmm. um, and I was thinking ID is really an artifact of the database. It's sure. a Mongo 
database ID. Yeah. The name has to be unique, and it's right. really, and it's easy to remember a name, or easier yeah. to remember a name than a, a, a Mongo sure. document ID. Sure. So I, I modified um, those routings and that, yeah. and thought, let's use the the name as the ID, as the identifier. Uh -huh. So this is the kind of the solution I came up with. I don't know how you guys feel about it. I added in what I thought would be some sensible defaults. Um, mm -hmm. So I really want to move forward uh, away from this story discussion and, and into the voting and sure. kind of part and the voting process. And I don't know if what you guys think about this status string because the way I see it is that a user starts mm -hmm. voting um, and I'm just I'm just identifying them as a string for the, for the uh -huh. time being. Um, user starts the voting, they have one round. If there is not a clear consensus after the first round, we move to a second round, yeah. possibly a third round, and eventually we complete it. Okay. So we can then later on clean up the database of all those completed um, stories if we need to. Mm -hmm. um, because it's really just a tool to facilitate, you know, let's take a vote, what does mm -hmm. the vote say? And I thought that doing things this way can just give a few more uh, hooks. Mm -hmm. if, we, if we're automating it, there's going to be a few more common hooks rather than using mm. these database artifacts. Right. So uh, the other thing, that's kind of one thing um, that we're talking about. The other thing is, and I hope we didn't still add Thunder, um, but we implemented Cucumber. Uh, we successfully installed it, mm -hmm. but now we're at the, the the point where, well, how do we implement these features as mm -hmm. as you know appropriate uh, you know cucumber stories, mm -hmm. and how do we then gen you know yeah. define the steps? And yep. what we found is we even start to do this at the start is that really we're just replicating, replicating, yeah. uh, and duplicating the stories, yeah. Like here, because we're fairly technical, mm. so this one's got a few of my console logs in. Um, really, we've just been mm -hmm. doing this, and then when we come to do the step definitions, mm -hmm. uh, the features, we're, we're yep. kind of saying the same thing. In a yes, way. exactly. Yes, and that's exactly what I would expect, but yes, go on. Um, so the question is, well, which is better, Cucumber, which is very high level, or these are other integration tests uh, that we're doing with Mocha and Chai, yeah. um, which we, as technical developers mm -hmm. anyway, all understand fairly well and mm -hmm. it's very clear to us. Yeah. We're not, we don't have an external client that we're trying to demonstrate mm -hmm. with parts to. We, we, we all speak this technical language. Sure. So um, I was kind of wondering. Sure what you guys thought you know, yeah should we well, pick um, cucumber is it, is it yeah, I was say, michael well michael before you go i'd say it's like very i'm very interested to hear everything you were saying there Raphael. i've got some very very strong feelings about a lot of those things but i wonder if um maybe we should hear from ed and alex for, and i think michael may also have some strong feelings about them i wonder if we should hear, hear first from alex and ed on on uh i mean we've got a thing here is like you know obviously the meeting could be open-ended people have got to do other things Maybe yeah, and I've up a number of points. Yeah, I mean, which I think of extremely important points, and I'm very pleased that you brought them up. Maybe Alex and Ed, just thinking about, you know, uh, we don't want to, uh, you know, uh, half an hour presentation, but any any thoughts on any of the points that Raphael has, has brought up? Let's we start with um, with Ed. Sorry, I didn't get. Uh, you mean the idea to not you to not follow the cucumber? Uh, well, I think well, it only Mocker instead. I, I think uh, Raphael. Yeah, what Raphael is asking, you know, uh, one. I guess it's like, uh, do we need cucumber? Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong for for these things, uh, Raphael. Is two. Um, it's like, shouldn't we have a few more um, specifications uh, of uh, stories on the model level? And and three. Let's. Uh, quickly move on 
to uh, the voting aspect. Would, would that be a that would I'm just, is that a reasonable summary of the sort of yeah? I'm, I'm kind of yeah. I feel like we're hitting a few stumbling points about what is the story. Yeah, I think we need to just get back to basics. Yeah, just think about it a little bit more logically and then yep. forward. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So so um uh Ed, Ed yeah on on those three points and any strong and you can just say that you're not bothered either way but if you've got uh, any any strong feelings or things you want to say about any of those three points we'd be very interested to hear well number one i think that we should so we can practice using cucumber at, mm -hmm. at least me i would like to mm -hmm. to practice cucumber. Uh, mm -hmm. and i think that it's good we try to follow the most uh let me how can i say the the most real uh, path is for work on the pro on the project mm -hmm. i mean trying to use as much as we can technically mm -hmm. so we, can, we practice more mm -hmm. uh, regarding number two uh, i think that um tests should be balanced so I think that it's good to have unit tests, integration mm -hmm. tests, and also the cucumber, mm -hmm. all well balanced for their mm -hmm. needs. Yes. And uh, regarding number three, yeah, I agree. I think that more we can. I, I think I don't understand number three. Mm -hmm. We are not. Uh, we are not working in in, in aspect of voting. Or, what else we have done that we have discussion? I think with number three, my just my point is that we're uh, we're getting caught up on what's the story when it's it shouldn't be so hard. I mean, I think a lot of the time we're spending is just getting each other up to speed in the project and and ignoring and and agreeing on these common terms. Mm. Um, and I just kind of. You know, a number of us have sat down and worked on different features and different points, and we're yeah. starting to fracture a little bit. And I think it'd just be good if we could come together and sure. look at each other's uh, arguments for different things, and then just whether we agree or not, just start moving forward on those. Sure. Okay. Seems fine. Yeah. Um, so Ed, excellent. Uh, Alex, on those any of those three points. <laughs> Okay, so you know, guys, I'm always overreacting, and I'm looking very, very far. That that's I'm, and I'm really sorry. I'll I'm working on it. Mm, no, no, no. Cucumber, cucumber, cucumber. Mm. I can, never can spell that. Actually, we don't need testing, ever. Mm -hmm. But it's better practice to test. I don't mind cook, uh, one against the other. There's pros and cons on each side. Mm -hmm. Um. Do we need it? No. Do we want it? Yes. Vote one against the other? We could run both of them. Nobody stops us from doing that. Right. So I, I think that's just a matter of favor. Yep. Shouldn't we have more specification of sorry on the model eleven? Yes, we should. We definitely should we, we should have so many things that I, I have a full list. However, a wise man said once, uh, and I think you know who I'm talking about. If you don't, I'm I'm going to Zed Shaw said, just deliver. I, I tend to over specify, over create. Over, and in the end, it takes me months to deliver something that mm -hmm. could have been delivered in a bad shape earlier and then improved. On this side, I would just deliver. Let's deliver something. Mm -hmm. Now, it's good, it's bad, we delivered. We mm -hmm. learn from our mistakes in delivery. When we're done delivering, let's go back and see if we can do things better mm -hmm. even if we even if that means to rewrite everything i i i think the important is not where we get but how we get um uh, it's not actually the destination but the trip let's do the trip right. um let's quickly move to voting aspect definitely mm -hmm. definitely and let's use our own product to develop our own product Right. That way we will learn more about its flaws, its power, its strength, its lack of feature or uh, too much abundance of personal opinion. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. Excellent summary. Thank you. I'm taking notes on what people are saying as well. Uh, Michael, any thoughts on those three? 
Yeah, so I think we should move to the voting aspect relatively soon. Because um, we want to try and get an MVP out as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. um, with Cucumber, I think there's value in Cucumber. Because, like, if you look at the, you could say, oh, uh, everybody understands our specs, right? Right. But if you look at them, mm -hmm. they're actually in a totally different level of language. Like, mm -hmm. they're in the language of um, REST. Mm -hmm. And, like, it says, oh, you know, get forward slash stories right. or whatever. Um, but what's kind of missing there is, like, the higher level... Mm -hmm. It's not really explicit to where people like where the end user is getting their their mm -hmm. interaction and what that code is actually delivering to anyone, and that's uh, can be critical in two points that I think. Um, one is when you're developing the code. Often, if you drive it from the outside. Mm -hmm. And you say, uh, oh, um, you have like a clear idea of what you're actually trying to achieve yeah. for the user. And that can make you not go astray with uh, writing code that you're just going to end up not using. Right. And the other thing is uh, when your tests end up failing and you break stuff, mm -hmm. you may actually appreciate having a failing cucumber because it'll be telling you like what you've actually broken for the user right which can make it easier than saying oh I broke this rest route now like right. I'm someone wrote that six months ago what does that rest route really do mm. all right well I just finished a note down what I said indeed gosh lots of interesting stuff um, Rafael's put some extra comments in there, uh, probably they're seeing, worried about stuff in analysis, paralysis, feel like Rose background, Cumulus, is not so common, hard to find good examples, we're working on the REST API, and so REST it, it seems appropriate. Um, I guess the, the particular thing, even independently of a Rails background, I guess I, I would just say is, um, and this is from, like, uh, Rafael, sort of partly from painful experience on lots of projects where the emphasis was on building right. I mean, uh, if I get specific, like you just added that thing about those rounds of voted that are needing needed, and you've done it in, I presume, you haven't written tests to say that we have those model things. You've just sort of started adding bits of things onto the story model, right? Uh, at the moment, yeah. Well, I'm it's, just, it's just it's a you're, spiking. you're experimenting, and you're in a spike. Exactly. It's, right. It's just a little. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which is, which is t totally cool. I guess I see that as kind of like. That's actually kind of, in my mind, counter to moving, moving quickly onto the voting aspect. And it seems to me that th those rounds of voting, we're kind of, effectively what we're doing there is imagining features that we might need, but actually we might not. And so Definitely. I think that there's a, there's a uh, I mean, I, I kind of like, do we need Cucumber? I, I, I tend to think I'd really love to, to have it. The whole um, background that people, a lot of people are coming from is this idea of, you know, behavior-driven design of working from user stories and only adding code or features when there's a really clear agreement on the user story for that so as to move as quickly as possible, that we don't kind of go off and do these other things. Um, and so sort of a, a behavior-driven, test-driven, and sort of only writing code um, as it's you know, clear that it actually becomes, becomes a need. I mean, I, I'm maintaining this huge forest of stuff in website one. I mean, all the, like, the, the process of fixing this manual hangout thing and so on is driving me absolutely nuts because what I feel happened in the previous project is that people were just like, oh yeah, even though they've got some testing, they keep on adding things that are kind of not actually driven by the, the, the key stories that have been identified in order to make the absolutely simplest thing that can be delivered. So- Yeah, um, that's kind of my goal in, in right. doing that is let's just clarify the story so we all know the domain. Right. And we're not passing around, I think, uh, Alex's work on, on what he did already, and, and he wrote tests. And those tests that he wrote were actually extremely useful for me. Because before I, I, add, I changed that model, I actually yeah. started looking at those tests, and I, I, mod, I did the modifications in the test first. Yeah. So 
but then when we come to to cucumber and we were mobbing the other day there was yeah. all this like we had, each had a turn and we we all kind of tried to implement cucumber in our own way yeah and it was kind of like we almost need tests to test cucumber uh -huh. uh, um which we couldn't really do because it's, yeah it, it was just kind of it just seemed to be continually expanding what mm -hmm. we had to do and which packages do we need and and, mm. and then we were mixing mocha and chai and mm -hmm. in the test and i'm like is this really the test and then mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. we're, we're doing integration testing really just via Cucumber, yes. Cucumber, and we already have these in, these lovely integration tests written that are really effective. Mm. So, um, are we just are we, you know, one of the the the, the uh, I always I really like the DIY principle. Mm -hmm. so I just felt like we're we're reproducing the same thing. Happens. Go on. You really like the DIY principle. The the DIY principle. Yeah, I just feel like we're we're adding unnecessary duplication. Right. Rather than moving on to the next point. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I totally hear you. Um, and, and it may be the case that um, cucumber in this in this stack is not the right choice. And or for, you know, people not familiar with it, it's going to be a, a massive drag. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the behaviors in this case, because we are working on, I still feel like we're still doing BDD with those, uh, those route testing. Because sure. Because they are the behaviors that we're the keenly interested in, those behaviors have been defined from, from user stories and then we've implemented them in, in Chai and Mocha. Right, right. Uh, and then we're trying to like learn BD, learn Cucumber BDD um, in this stack and it, it's not commonly, it doesn't no, seem- no, Okay, no, 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 fair enough. Well, I, and I think, I think that there's probably, you know, the, that, makes, that makes perfect sense. Uh, I think the other thing, the, the bigger overriding thing for Agile is I think for any team, you know, that all of these things like BDD, TDD, uh, pairing, uh, you know, scrums, retrospectives, none of these things are implicitly agile. They're all things that we can choose to use or not. And so I think from, from my perspective, ultimately, it comes down to the people who are working on this project, which things they choose to use. Um, I think what I would say here is, like, I would uh, love to do a pairing, for example, say with you right now, where we kind of actually got into the code and we looked at specifically the problems that we're having with Cucumber. And, um, you know, we kind of like, we, we've, we've had a nice sort of discussion. Lots of people put different I, I, ideas out there. Um, maybe we should like have a pairing session, get into the code. I, I guess partly I believe really strongly that, that the, if we can get the Cucumber to work, then, you know, it's actually, as Michael was saying, it's really valuable that like, you say, oh, you know, we kind of all sort of understand what the RESTful tests sort of mean, but, yes. you know, and, and then you're saying like there's, there isn't like a, a high level, you know, cust non-technical customer who needs to understand them. I think the biggest value from Cucumber tests is not that non-technical customers read them, it's that other people coming into the project later gotcha. will be able to read those tests and, and even us when we're looking back at them. I mean, like, I think it's, that, that, that said against, if it's too difficult to implement Cucumber, then that advantage dis dissipates to an extent. So I think yeah. that the key thing really here is we should have a quick look at, can we knock up Cucumber here so that we've got a strong connection between the high level user story and our in integration tests? It, the, the, the bottom line here is not that we need a REST API. The bottom line comes down to, like at least for me, why I'm involved in this project, I mean, everybody else might be involved just for learning and fun or whatever, is I'm like, I really want the Agile Ventures community to survive and thrive and grow. And there's this, the, the, the asynchronous voting itself seems to be providing some of that, but it's a lot of uh, manual labor. It's, if we, the, the bottom thing is not, can we have a REST API? It's like, can we properly support those people who are trying to do asynchronous voting? And, sure. and so that it sort of stands or falls on that. So I'm really keen to see if we can actually connect a Cucumber story that embodies that to the test. If oh, we I can't, definitely if it, agree if it's, with you. I, mean, I, would, I would love to do Cucumber t testing myself, but I, I'm just, with the amount of effort that we're putting into mm -hmm. that, continuous spinning our wheels, I'm like, is it really right? Well, no, absolutely. Well, so let, oh. why, don't, why don't we, you know, now go to, if you're free for the next hour, we could have a look at, can we get up a, a Cucumber test? And I can sort of show, I mean, I've been using Cucumber for like five years. Um, right. in, in, in that. So I'm all up for that. That's yeah, so let, 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 let's, let's do that. And it might be that we kind of end up saying, actually, it doesn't work. 
and we'll we'll move on. I mean, I think what I would like to see the, the highest priority of me is, is is can we get even just the simple the ability the the, the stories thing on on a Heroku server, and then let's go straight into adding some votes thing, and and get that working and and get that live and be doing that through the uh, the rest interface. But yeah, so um, I guess shall we have a brief break there? And I mean, I guess it could we could just go we stay in this hangout and. Does it become another mobbing session? Who, who else is interested in in seeing perhaps Raphael and I working on this number? I am. Yeah, Michael, uh, Alex, and and Ed. I am too. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So I I was um, looking at. So I went back to the the cucumber docs uh, here, and I was looking at like the things that we've been trying. Um, can, no. I, can I just stop you? Stop you there, Rafael. Just, just give me a, give me a minute to go and come back, and then we'll we'll get into. Sure. No worries. Are we, are we going to just pause this session and then and? Continue? Yeah, let, let, I think we might as well stay in this session and record rather than creating a new hangout and then doing it. It's easier to keep on Zoom recording. I'm just going to just pause for um uh you know 60, 60 seconds and uh, then we'll come back. I guess what I'm really do, keen to do is to get the stuff that you guys have been working on the weekends onto my computer and and running or not running or or what have you. I mean, I haven't had a chance to review. You know what you did over the weekend, yeah, particularly. So, um, yeah, let's come back in in in, in a couple of minutes uh, and sure. do that. Yeah, great, sure. right. cool. Back in a moment. Okay, so yep, just back. All right, there we go. Yeah, so I just before we start looking at cucumber docs and different things, like so, I've fetched the latest latest stuff. Um, I mean, if I'm in, let me just get to pull Origin Master. Like currently, what we have on Master is that doesn't have any cucumber tests at the moment. Point. No. Um, no. Like when we, there's even questions about have we actually implemented this feature or not? Yeah. Uh, um, Junior was saying, are we are we fooling ourselves and thinking that we've completed the feature? Because I say we've yeah. completed the feature because we've installed Cucumber, and that's really what the feature said. Yeah. Um, but we haven't gone through that and then transformed. No. Okay. All right. On what those features are, and then transform them into Cucumber, and then we're having troubles implementing the steps. Sure, uh, sure. And there's no clear documentation. There's some documentation. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, let's before we go any further down that route. I mean, I've just got pulling the latest stuff on. I mean, there's some new things like .env. I, I'm going to need like a, a .env file here, and just like Do you to copy get the .env .sample to. Oh, okay. It will automatically give you some. Default values. Okay, and then I might be able to run npm test. Okay, right, and I've got my address in use. So if I now go into um, m and I switch that to something else like uh, eight thousand. Uh, there. So I've got here. I've, this is I've got uh, right the ability to get the list of stories to post a story to get to get an individual story. All right, fair enough. And so at the moment, yeah, so we had an issue which was, uh, or we said like, you know, get Cucumber.js in, into the system. Um, I mean, we have, uh, and if we go and find Async Voter, I mean, we do have the, you know, we wrote, we wrote all of the features that we originally voted on in like, 
you know, as as features and almost there were some stubs of different bits and pieces. Uh, but so the work, when you, like, it, it sounds to me like you were trying to write some cucumber stories and so on. Are they in a pull request? Are they in a branch? What's no, the... I just did stuff for myself. Um, so like I, because I rewrote the story model, you know, for myself on my own okay. branch and I haven't pushed that no, no. Uh, up because I didn't want to just cloud the, the sure. space there. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was kind of, if I don't, I'm not screen sharing. Um, so I, I just did, you know, given that I submit the Earl with name as user, you know, then the response should be X, you know, uh, which was just a modification of, of the existing feature that was there. Okay, so, so, so you've, got, you've got some bits and pieces of Cucumber in a local branch of yours that are, was also got some other changes related to the model. Is that what you're, is that what you're saying? Correct. Okay, okay. Um, I'm just thinking actually here, going back to, that we've got a couple of outstanding pull requests. So uh, let's just, maybe we can just look in here. Okay, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a no brainer there that we should update the um, pull request for that. I guess the, there's also that the readme should be updated to mention the, if it doesn't have it already, uh, does the readme doesn't, does it mention the dot env in there? It doesn't, so that probably should. I'll just add that at the end there if we haven't got it. Uh, there, sensible default. I guess we don't, that's about defaults. We, we don't have the sensible defaults in there. Uh, so, you know, update readme to mention dot env uh, and dot env sample and whatever. Uh, so then we've got this other pull request here, which is this. Now this was this change to the roots definitions that we talked about yesterday that uh, you you prefer, and the tests on that are all green. It needs a review. Um, the, I guess this is the kind of thing where it would be good for more eyes to look on this. But I, th I think we all pretty much agreed on this on Friday, didn't we? That this was the way to go. Yeah. I think yes. I yes, we did. Yeah. So uh, I think if. I, I, that's that's uh, that, that's fine. There should we get to start? Probably just need to. I just wouldn't mind uh, everybody confirming because I've not put all the roots in the the server JS file. Yeah. I've I've abstracted them out into yeah. a JS file, and yeah. then the sub routes are handled within the in individual domains. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I'll I'll tell you what I'll do there, and, and of course this is orthogonal to the cucumber thing, so I'll put that to one side. Um, I'll say, everyone, please review this when you get a chance. I think one of the things I'm also looking for like, is setting up notifications. So um, I'm just going to add a issue there, which is um, uh, set up PR notifications on our uh, Slack channel. Because um, I think one of the key things is you know, uh, we all need to review each other's PRs. OK, so um, I guess what? So, um, right, so, and, and, yeah, so I guess that's, we've, it's a little bit of a difficult thing there that we're in that, you've got some bits of Cucumber that we can maybe build on and maybe fix, but it's mixed in with this other, other stuff, and I guess ideally maybe they would be, have been on two separate branches. Are, are they in separate commits that we can cherry pick out, or what's, what's it looking like on your repo? Sorry, I was muted again. Um, through you could I mean you can just kind of cherry pick them out quite fairly easily yeah um, that's that's not so hard I, but I mean you can also just recreate them all from scratch fairly easily it's not like a massive amount of work that I've done no 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 although I think you know we're, we're, go on. I can push it to a spike or something yeah, why don't you put it push it to a spike branch and then just um, I mean I, I haven't it's been a while since I set up QQMJS I think also thinking about it in the context of the, the you know we've got a mob and people you know, ha hanging out, it's maybe, uh, yeah, it's, it allows me to move faster doing that because you've got those. Yeah, so if you push that to a spike, but, um, you're gone. It breaks. So how do I, I've just called it Raffi Test. How do I rename that? And what would you like me to rename it to? Uh, well, I'd just leave it as, we, I'd leave it as Raffi Test for the minute. We can always change it later. Just, I would get push origin Raffi Test and, and we'll, we'll be good to go. I can pull it down and I can have a look at the commit log and, uh, you know, we move, move forward. 
Okay. Well, I, I've pushed that up. All right. So I just do get uh, fetch here, and uh, I've got that, and I can get uh, check out uh, Rafi test like so, and I can just have a look at a quick get hist here, and so I guess now what have we what have we got here? Is it okay? So basically, up to the, it looks like up to this point. That's that's cucumber, and then this is this particular commit here is changes to the story model. But basically, if I was to take, if I was to roll to this commit, I would have something that would. No, work. that's just the same as the eighteen, the feet eighteen crack. It's the, I'm sorry, I didn't know. It's the same as the what? What? Sorry. The see how it says cucumber set up running with relish yeah. origin eighteen cucumber integration. Ah, uh, okay. I right. just pulled that. I just pulled that branch into my bike. Okay. I, I think we're, Alex is getting tired. Do do let us know, Alex, if you need um, some cough, caffeine. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't. <laughs> I <have laughs> a button. Sorry, it's been a long night. No, no, no worries. You're a hardworking man. Uh, okay, so there actually. So then, my apologies. So there actually is. There's an existing branch. So this 18 cucumber integration. Okay. Which uh, sorry, what I haven't done is uh -huh. I haven't uh, let me just do a good status. Okay, so um, and Right. So, but anyway, if if there's this branch that's got that stuff on, and I can see there's stuff from Asian on there, then we don't need to look at your particular spike. I can just look at this branch, and, and this is a branch from which a pull request could ultimately be submitted if we wanted to. Yeah, I've I've just kind of re-pushed that so you can see kind of where I've been working on and and take a look at, it, at that a bit. So I forgot to commit it into my local repo before I I pushed it up. So there was very little value in what I I pushed up. Okay. Um, but so anyway, so on this, on this repo, on, on, I mean, I've got this branch now. I, I don't, I, I'm not sure what other change you now made into which branch you put some more changes into Raffi test. But uh, I guess the question there is, should I be working from this this uh, branch 18 cucumber integration, or, or is there something important in Raffi test that that you know we should be considering? Um, it's kind of up to you. You can look at my screen and decide if you like. Um, yeah, the the, uh, text, the text is a little bit small. It's difficult to. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll just I'll, let me have a look at another look. I'll pull that out here. Uh, Git pull origin, uh, Rafi test, and then I will. Okay, so you've got some more hooks and things in there. And so now, if I look at the the hist here, so you, right, so we've got. So so you've you've got there. The cucumber integration thing, and then you've got some the changes to the story, and then you've got some additional. So, 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 do you just want to summarize? What well, th th this commit here? Yeah, this last so, one. So that that was there. I took that, the new story model that I was working on. So I just wanted to have a play. I just wanted to kind of do it my way. See, see how I could, if I could get it going with cucumber. Um, but what are the the where the setbacks I'm hitting? Um, because the, the last mod, we were kind of, there was a lot of discussion about uh, how we then implement these steps. Oh, OK. Each is uh, a kind of clear. Uh, but so are, the, are these then, these are then specific to your new form of the story model. So if, we, if we're wanting to sort of put aside, just for the moment, the new form of the story model, I probably shouldn't be looking at these. Yeah, kind of yes and no. Well, I mean, it's, I still see it as useful because in terms of, um, you know, just rolling with a new story for the moment, uh, just in terms of how the hell do we do these step definitions the right way? Okay, okay. Well, well let's, 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 stay, let's, stay, let's stay for the moment. For some, for some of us, you know, who haven't seen, who aren't up to this point, let's catch up with this. So if I want to run the cucumber tests from sure. this point, what do I do? Uh, so you do NPM uh, run cucumber. Okay, I mean, presumably we've got... In here, uh, where's the package JSON, which I could have looked up myself. So, yeah, so we put the test. 
simulator. Right. Okay, and yeah. so at, at this stage, basically, we've got a series of uh, tests there, but none of the steps are implemented. Okay. Yeah. Right. And so that, that, that's like this, uh, this, this branch that we've got here, this just, it adds cucumber, it adds um, these things. We've, got, we've also got, oh, we've got something working here. Uh, no, that's, that's fake. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, but so I guess if we got the, we've got, so yeah, so we've got like tests here and we've got, so there's a couple of, there's a couple of stories that have got um, scenarios that have got things. Okay, and so th this branch only gets as far as kind of getting it there, getting something going on and the step definitions hadn't been implemented and so it was then making progress on the step definitions that was challenging. Correct. Okay, right, um, yes. And so I guess then if I look at the, yeah, no, so it, it, it does seem slightly counterproductive to have at this point then and gone on, uh, you know, made changes to the model and, and then gone on the step definitions. But uh, I, I guess, uh, do I want to check that out or I want to get the, the, the Rafi test thing? I guess what I want to look at here, if I go and look at the, uh, the Rafi test is the, so the Rafi test now, I should find the step definitions existing somewhere in the system and the step definitions. And under features. Uh, here we go, okay. So we've got some hooks there and we've got some steps. Okay, oh right, okay. Uh, well, I, hooks. I don't know if my nomenclature is correct. Can you go uh, back to hooks? It's just playing, so. Hello? Hello, Michael. Um, you wanted to go like, back to hooks? The, what's the difference between hooks and Stops. They look the same. They're, they're not in, in the way I've done that there. That's just as I said, my nomenclature is probably wrong. Okay. 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 So so maybe maybe the thing to do there, and I guess you were maybe um, unsure, Raphael, about what was the procedure in terms of the, the steps. If we go back to the cucumber generation there, and so uh, okay, uh, but the, these are all coming. If we go to um, let's have a look for cucumber. If you yes. Yeah, so you were, you were saying about, about the docs and there's not... A yeah, I, I took a look at the docs and I was, you know, we were looking at, you know, testing REST, uh, Cucumber. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everybody was seen to be implementing it in a different way and sure. the function calls uh, parameters were defined differently. And uh -huh. so I kind of thought, come back to basics and... Yeah. I've gone to cucumber.github.io forward slash cucumber hyphen JS. Yeah, that's what I'm on here. Yeah. Um, which seems to be cuts it down further. Uh, you can specify this uh, world, which I guess is the environment yeah. of, of cucumber and you and you push things on on you you extend that yeah. prototype. Uh, um, and then you kind of call to that that uh, object, the this object. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I wish we just has a parallel with, with how we use cucumber in the other. Uh, yeah. Can I just, Sam? Did you want to just try and like? Yeah, that's what take, I was about to do. Take I one of those features that we had written. Yeah, and make it work. Yeah, and make it work. See if we can get it working. That is exactly yes. my plan. Uh, uh, so here. Yeah. So we're this. This is on eighteen cucumber, and so it's actually. We've got our, just close all of these for a moment. Oh, um, I want to say to Raphael, um, when you implement Cucumber, there is like a wide latitude of how to actually implement it. Yes. But um, you could argue that that is part of the value of it because it, yeah. uh, makes, the, it makes the whole team think about uh, their domain. So, I mean, I guess one of my points is is that we seem to be testing the same thing twice in two different places. I like I don't mind doing cucumber. I don't right, mind right, doing right. the rest appy uh, uh, integration tests. But do we need really need to be doing the same thing twice? Why? Well, well, I go on. Go on Michael. No, go on, Michael. You go. You go. I'll, I'll type and you you talk. Um, I was going to say, if we got the cucumber working and we felt like it was redundant with the with what we had already written, we could throw that out. Sure. The old, the old test and just 
write as many tests at the high level as we can, and then keep the specs sh like for a unit test, for instance. Yeah, I mean, where, that, where they're kind of just testing the the model, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm like whatever works. So right. I just, I mean, uh, I, I like testing. I think testing is a, is a must because it's just in the future, it's just going to save yourself a lot of future heartache. And it's really clear from my experience in the world also. Um, and I just feel like we're spending so much. I don't want to feel like we're spending all this time. Only. No, no, basically we need to, it either works and we get it working and we, I mean, we had the, yeah, we, we've got to get it working. If it doesn't work, we need to move forward. Yeah. So I guess that, yeah, the, I mean, it is at this stage, it's a complete uh, replication. Hey, Junior. Um, but so given that we've got these steps and it's asking them to do them, I'm just trying to identify here. It's, it's like the JSON request data, I make a poster. I'm going to go here with like, I make a get request. And so presumably the process that you kind of already went through was taking sort of things from the, it's our root spe uh, spec there. And the process of like doing get here is basically that we would set up. And, and so that we've made that get request uh, corresponds almost identically to this. Yeah. Yeah. So, I make a get request. So here is this right code here that turns the phrase, the phrase above into a concrete actions callback null pending. It's not clear that we need the callback. Um, but so we could, and presumably this is what you did. You were doing on your branch was just, um, Sticking this stuff in there. And yeah, it because you know, we read one example, and they were always in this callback to indicate the test success or failure. And then yeah. I reread the cucumber base specs, and they don't use a callback at all. Mm -hmm. just, they use maybe assertion. Uh, you know, they use yeah, this yeah. Um, and if the assert fails, that cucumber automatically seemed to be detecting that failed assertion and failing the test. Uh -huh. So. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, no, fair enough. Well, let, let's sort that out. So we've got a, a thing here, which is like, so and I see we've got, we've got like a test feature. This is just one that you put in to check that it that it all worked. Um, uh, I guess in the version that I've got here, so I make a get get request. Let's move, move this to two so we can see this one. So we've got this the test steps here. So I make a get request to what have you. Um, and then and we so, fake it till we make it. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So this this one then, I mean, I, I guess if I want, I presume that this is, I'm just going to start that in it, and I'm going to presume that this is going to, like, fail horribly for me. Um, so what have we got here, which is that, yeah, so chai is not defined, so I need to um, come and get this element from, so what have we got here? This is the test steps, this is the module here, and so we will, at the very least, need these. And, a lot. and, and I, t I totally uh, relate to your concern there, uh, Raphael, is like, oh, we're just replicating th these things. But as Michael says, like, the point is about getting them in there. And it's, it's about kind of a, a level of, if I go back to here, like turning all of these elements and linking them into uh, English language descriptions in a, in, a, in a strong sense. But I, th I think you've understood that. So it's, that's not, I mean, yeah, yeah let, 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 let's go. See if we can... Make it easily communicatable to others or if we forget yeah, to, to us, us in the future abs absolutely yeah. uh so but and presumably th this process that i'm just doing here is what you've kind of gone through already it's telling me that i need to uh, that too, but... is uh okay and then we need to kind of we need we kind of put a lot of work into getting chai and mocha kind of working together right, not <laughs> learning in, in... Yeah, 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 yeah. That part. This is Junior. Sorry, I joined late. Hey, Junior. Yeah, no, we saw that you joined. W w welcome. Welcome. Yeah, we, we, we've just gone around a, a bit of discussion about do we need Cucumber? Should we have a few more specifications on the stories? And can't, can't we quickly move on to voting? And we were just going to look, look at this. Yes, um, the reason I actually hijack. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I just, just wanted to add a comment here. I've been working on this, and uh, um, I actually uh, have been writing down some of the tests, uh, moving them to uh, Cucumber. Uh -huh. And uh, using Chai as the assertion library. Uh -huh. uh, this is something that has been bugging me since a couple of days, really, since we started doing this on Saturday. Uh -huh. uh, so I decided to just take that task. I haven't actually uh, uh, assigned the task on. on um... Sorry, this Rafael just said that my mic has problems. It, it's kind of crackly. I can, I can understand you. Yeah, I can understand you. It's a little bit crackly, but, but I, would, I would carry on. Okay. Um, 
All right, okay. So yes, in any case, just wanted to say that I am working on this task. So I, would like to, uh, I wanted to assign the, um, um, this, um, what's it called? A, a, uh, waffle thing, uh, yeah, assign yeah. it to myself uh, because yeah, right. I actually would like to 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 keep working on this and then uh, to do a pull request later on when I have oh, okay. the set up. Right. Uh, but you know, uh, um, if so, somebody had been doing any work on it already, then maybe um, uh, we can link up later, or or if you already yeah. you know have quite advanced on it to to uh, do your pull request, and I'll see you know, sure um, if it is like mine. Well, I think what we have sure. situation what we have is, is so Raphael, I think on his spike that also has some other changes, has got most of it working. Is that Raphael, you what what's the actual point that you've got your code to on your spike? There, there's actually uh, like uh, basically what, what Junior and I worked on and others worked on over the weekend uh -huh. is kind of where I'm up to the cucumber tests. And then we were like, geez, how do we how do we write these steps? definitions and how do we do them effectively and uh -huh. the right way no maybe this is the right way no maybe that's the right there way. was a confusion there really to be honest um because we did get a cucumber installed um and we saw that it was working at least you know uh, we were seeing uh, some past messages uh, we uh -huh. assumed okay you know this is fine yeah um the one thing that we were confused was that because we were seeing the messages passed, we thought that, you know, uh, um, for example, we're doing a test uh, where we were doing a call request, mm -hmm. uh, but we were faking the, the pass because we were just uh, sending the, the call back um, to the test. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, just sending a, 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 you know, a thumbs up, even though we were not actually doing anything, we're just mocking uh, yeah. um, the test, uh -huh. if okay. that makes sense. Sure. Um, so so the idea is to to what I'm do, currently doing is I'm taking um, the chai steps with this mocha, uh, what uh -huh. we're currently doing, where we actually do a post request and get the response, and we actually check the response, all this stuff, but doing it obviously in the cucumber way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, if that makes well, sense. Uh, not no, to cut everyone short, if Sam could continue working on. Well, I, I guess, you know, so I, I'm uh, going in here and I, you know, I'm, I, it, I we could carry on this. It feels to me, though, like I'm probably struggling here with, you know, the same uh, issues that perhaps um, uh, Raphael and Junior have already uh, struggled with and kind of over and overcome to some extent. Uh, I mean, I guess the, the immediate thing that I'm getting th that failure there is it saying test steps JS twenty seven? Uh, we've got here it's saying server is not defined. I've tried to just copy over the whole thing. Um, it, it's it sounds like the challenge though in some ways is that not so much like you kind of got most of this bit working, but for Junior and Raphael uh, is about you know how to kind of like continue working with the the step definitions, which is the kind of thing that I could you know I have more experience working with step definitions than I do with um, you know like putting together this this sort of stack here. I, I guess what Raphael's coming this morning on pros is like, well, maybe we should sort of drop the whole um, cucumber thing. But I, I guess uh, Junior's still so working on it. Go has on. Does someone have on their own repo a branch that's kind of halfway there? I can, I can publish my repo later on, yes. Uh, I'm still uh, uh, migrating the test. But once it is done, I can pull it, uh, uh, publish it, and you can have a look at it. Yeah. What about I'm, you, Raphael? No, not really. I mean, you've got what I've got. I, I've, yeah, yeah. I've not done a huge amount of work. I've just just been. Keeping yeah, yeah. Up. I understand the step definitions. Uh -huh. What I'm having trouble with is um, the async, right? The, the implementation of you know how do we connect? How do we test these routes? Then you know, how how do we have that that server environment? You know, we. We were looking at do we use like um, Chrome, uh, like a what was the name of the Selenium? A big pardon? Selenium. Selenium, yeah. If do we use Selenium or, or, or is there some better way of doing it? Is mm. do we use the chai? Do we, you know? Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's an additional overhead that uh, we need to kind of address oh. and clear on. The steps I think are fairly clear, especially going back to the docs. Yeah. Uh, well, they can become fairly quick, pretty quickly. Um, 
Yeah. Because it's... in the end, we are exact, We are doing exactly what we are currently doing. We are currently using Mocha and Chai to do these uh -huh. tests. Right. We're just replacing Mocha with Cucumber. So as you said uh -huh. earlier, we can just drop the whole thing and continue uh, using what we're doing right now, Mocha and Chai. Uh -huh. We replace Mocha with Cucumber just to make the scenarios a little bit uh, more uh, user-friendly, yes. more readable. Sure. But in the end, we're doing exactly the same thing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I, that, that's, that, that's totally agreed. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just looking, looking here at... So, I mean, I, I've got this now working here. I mean, in as much as, like, it goes green. But, like, I can... The, the trial quest is at least going through. Who knows if it's actually hitting it. But if I uh, change this so, like, to say that it should fail, it doesn't fail. And I guess that's where this callback needs to be used. And this is this point that you were making, Raphael, that they have this mechanism here where they're, like... Right, we've got the... Well, it's, so with synchronous ones, they're using the assert equals, right? But with asynchronous, then we need to have it uh, do the do the callback, uh, you know, with picking up the on the failure. And so we've got that's a, to me. I'm not like if I'm doing these assertions, and this is in uh, this is mocker, right? These these yeah. should statements here. So uh, that's the question of how how I would want to use. Those in combination with Cucumber JS, which I guess none, nobody's cracked yet. Mocha. I think it's a uh... mocker. Mocker and that's Yeah, Mocha and Chai are the what I've been using. I call that. I call it Mocha. But... Okay. Uh, mocha. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Moc. Maybe that's a uh, Americanism, Mocha. You, mm. you, just you guys have different vowels for us. Well, I mean, it's like basically a type of coffee, right? Correct. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, which I would call a, a mocha. What do you call it? Mocha. Mocha. But it sounded like everyone was saying maca. Okay. <laughs> I say maca. Okay. Yeah, we have a mixture of um, mixture of accents. Uh, yes. And so the, the the I mean I've got this. Yeah, I would be blocked at this point about what I do with this callback. I mean, I guess uh, we've got the. I mean, what we could be doing here is, you know, it, it, the trivial one is that the the res status needs to be equal to two hundred. There, I mean, to, to sort of, you know, screw the uh, mocker for you know, pardon my French, uh, like. What we're ba basically saying is we want to do, like, if the status is that callback, then otherwise it needs to be callback with an error. Um, I'm not sure how the done relates. We get the callback comes in. That's the argument that we pulled into there, uh, like so. And so this would be fine. And then we would have, we want to throw, like, an, this is like uh, res status was like so. And I mean, let's ignore those for the moment. Yeah. I'll go on. Uh, so is it, there we go. Now, what does this happen here? Done is not defined. The dumb was something we were using in the other framework. Yeah, that was just the name of the callback in the okay. other part, so it's it's fine. Okay, so this is there we go. That that's now passing there, but let's see if we can get and here. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, there, I've got here not using mocker, but just checking the things individually. This is I've I've got the the failing test. I can check that it you know should be this or or that. So th that that would basically be it, I think. Um, but maybe you, you had you got to that already, Raphael? Like, if I just stash this, not really, because I wasn't sure whether we should. Um, like, we use this thing called re this relish, and I'm not sure if we even needed to use relish. And it's also extra confusing because there's a site called Relish that hosts Cucumber. Yeah. Um, and I don't. And then I looked up the npm package called Relish, and it seemed to be something totally different. Yeah. And that's what we installed. So we might actually need to uninstall Relish, um, because I don't think yeah. we're actually 
using it anywhere. Yeah. And uh, I think Junior actually started to do it with Chai and Mocha, which is probably the right way. But then I wasn't sure yeah. if, if the yes. we were mixing the, the frameworks correctly, you know. Um, I got to the point where Sam is currently. So <laughs> yeah. I already did this. Um, like uh -huh. I said, I just removed Mocha, uh, put Cucumber. And I'm using exactly the same steps uh, for Chai. We're, do, we're doing the Chai request uh -huh. and the Chai uh, uh, expect. And um, yes, I, I'm at that point currently. OK, have, have you pushed that up onto a branch somewhere? No, like I said, I have, I have not done that. I'm just uh, okay. rewriting uh, the rest of the steps, and then I will publish it. OK. Um... Well, I'd say don't 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 wait. Just just uh, you know, always always filter it. But so I mean, Mocha Mocha itself is a testing framework, right? Right. Exactly. So yeah. Maybe it doesn't. It's uh, like but, not really. Do people use that with Cucumber? Well, I, I know that's the point. Uh, the testing framework um, allows you to write a test, but yeah. then you need to assert those tests using a library like Chai. So right. Right. Example. Right. Yeah. So okay. yeah. Well, Mocha and Cucumber would be similar or, or synonym. Notice the, the, the way that I've done it here, right, is I haven't used Mocha or, or Chai. I mean, I've used Chai to make the request. I haven't used Mocha. I've basically just checked explicitly myself mm -hmm. what the, the state well, Chai, Chai is an assertion library, but yeah. Well, right. maybe so. But at the moment here, the, ch the Chai request is just, it's just being used to, to make the request. And I'm, I'm not using any other aspect of it. But this is kind of, I, I would say that this is the vanilla way to go. It right? is the vanilla way, yeah. All Chai does is just allows you to write better tests. Like, for example, if you look uh, further down, the, the, the comments or the lines that you have commented. No, 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 absolutely no. I, to I totally understand that. What I'm saying is here is I'm, I happen to be using Chai here, but I'm not making any assertion with Chai. Exactly. Exactly. Right. I, I'm. I'm. I'm merely doing it only with this. And I would. Right. I mean. I think that the. Yeah. The. The. This is in terms of if we go back to the rubber, is just getting something working. Like it. It would be lovely. Yeah. To have lots of nice. Um. You know. Matches. Mocha style matches. All this. Whatever. If. Mm. If. If this is what we have. Like. And this work basically allows us to assert that it either works or it didn't, and we can see the red and the green. Mm. That's. That's the minimum. And let's. I mean. We can. That that would be the quick thing to, to have, you know, this one uh, feature done like that. It would be mm -hmm. done. There would be no uh, block to it. And then it, it, a separate feature could be to say, oh, can we use Mocha and Chai more effectively with Cucumber? And we can move on. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, but so, so, so uh, Junior, you've got, you've got this working like this with if statements and sending the appropriate callback. Right. Upon the, the status or whatever. So, what do you think of that, Raphael? I love that idea. That sounds perfect. So I think that would unblock us. Some. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, Junior, are you planning to work on? You, you say you got, you want to do a few more do more, a few more things on that branch. Are you planning to work on um, that right now, or that'll be uh, tomorrow? What's what's your schedule? I don't know. I'll, I'll work on it right now, and uh, later on this afternoon I will publish it, and then okay. uh, you can guys have a look. Okay. Do you want to work on it in parallel with? Raphael, or you prefer to work? Uh, with yes, I mean, I, I'm currently at work, so I just took like a half an hour to come and join the, the, the call. Okay, sure, yeah. yeah, no, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm in the office right now, yeah. but maybe, uh, Raphael, if you're later on uh, free, I can ping you and we can have a, a pair session. Sure, I, I'm not going to be free after four, around, I think around 4 or 5 p.m. local time, but mm. other than that, um, let me know. You're in the same time zone as me, aren't you? So. I am, yes, yes. Yeah. So you're talking the right times. Yeah, what I would, I would say is, I mean, Raphael, if you want to work on something more now, I, I know that you were keen to move on to the votes. I mean, I think if you want to do a REST API uh, test, like if you want to do like the... Um, I mean, I'm happy to, to do it this way. I just um, I just want some clarity in which, which type of test I should be doing. You know, I'm really yeah. comfortable with regular expressions, so I'm really happy to write um, step definitions um, yeah. Okay. No. So, you know that. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So I get, I get that's a re re result. Yes. And and if if you're if you're comfortable doing cucumber tests where it has like this form and you basically yeah. check the individual things you do and do callbacks as necessary, I think that's absolutely fine for the for the time being. Yeah. And 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 push on on whichever feature you you feel interested in working on. I think what I I would just say in terms of those um, 
you know, like rounds of voting and the different things, great to be doing a spike. It's um, independently of whether we use Cucumber or not. I think ultimately whether we actually end up adding those to the model should come back to something where, you know, like a high level feature where we're voting and talking about, you know, wanting to add that, like, do, do we, like every bit of the flexibility that we add is something that we can potentially trip over later. So, you know, if we can hook those, I mean, it's always fine to experiment with them and I totally encourage that. But like ultimately before we build them in, I want, I, I feel quite strongly that, that we want to link them up to some high level features, but feel free to start just writing high level features. Like there should be three rounds for the, I mean, for the vote or, or whatever, whatever it is, just to get those rather than implicit requirements, make them explicit. Sure. Uh, yeah, sure. Perfect. I mean, if you could uh, also provide, you know, a, a dummy uh, cucumber test so I can see how it's done and learn from your example, that would make a huge difference uh, for me. Uh, okay, just, yeah, well, um, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put a spike up of what I've, I mean, I'll, I'll work on this maybe a little bit more, put a, put a spike up and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try and maybe even move towards some documentation that says like, you know, for developing new feature, write feature tests and then, you know, here's an example. Yeah, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Okay, good stuff. Um, there we go. Um, so yeah, I guess we've got a separate issue there that I will throw into here which is like um it's just f find out how because it's like um find out how to use chai the, is the mocker just a mocking library actually it's no it's a whole test mocha is a whole test framework it's kind of like ours but mocha and and oh, the, right, the most it's like a is replacement for Jasmine, that. like Jasmine. Right, right. Oh, and then, then the Chai is assertion. The Chai is the assertion the, library. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, it's it's one that people use a lot with. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so here, but the interesting thing is that I'm pulling in Chai or whatever. I'm not mentioning Mocha in this framework, but I guess that's what we are. How are we using Mocha in the? I I think no, I'm not. You, you're I'm not, not really using Mocha here. You're using like it. I mean, cucumber. So, this, one, this one is obviously cucumber, but we've got our, um, you know, integration test here. Right. I guess we're using super test, aren't we? We're using super test and not mo mocha. So, so the question there is is about using chai yes. assertions in um, a cucumber. So it's um, chai in a synchronous cucumber test. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's maybe a, a separate thing that we. Yeah. Okay. There, this, this this would be, I think, how we would start using. Yeah, okay, but so that that's something. I think that's then we don't need to do that now. That's something. You want to put that in the ticket? I will. Them. I will. Um, we'll look at that later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that can be looked at later. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. The solution with Node is usually someone's already published an MP. Oh, absolutely. Package. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I think I probably. Should take a, a short break of some description uh, and just check on different tasks. I guess on what I can what I can do uh, here, if we look at the, the status, is I can. So I'm kind of on a, uh, a spike of a test here. Um, if I get check out and I call this eighteen uh, cucumber uh, integration, and I'll put without. The funny thing there is that we're using chai to make the request, but we're not, with, I guess it's without chai assertions is, is, is specifically what it is. And so if I then commit git commit minus am uh, example test that will fail, I hope. Um, so git push origin 18, you got integration, hmm, did it I not? Ah. Uh, no, I didn't check out with minus B. Damn. There we go. Uh, there we go. You're not about to push all uh, my changes in there, I hope. No, no, I, I, I'm fairly sure that I haven't. Uh, if we go and look at async voter now, I think we should see from the commits on this one that this would be up to what uh, I thought I hadn't, but maybe, uh, ah, I somehow seem to have managed to get the 
wrong thing on there. Damn. Get, oh, oh, damn it. Um, okay, let me get a clean copy of this. Um, and what I want to do here is cherry pick that. I just only wanted that commit, which is that one, and pop that on there and then get push origin 18 uh, cucumber there. So, ah, no, 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 it was the same. I was just being confused. Uh, right. I guess we've got this. Right. So, relish is added in there, but maybe not necessarily being used. I, I was just momentarily boxed into thinking that this was all from your Rafi test branch, but I think it's it's not. So, um, oh, that's, that's from what we did. That, 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 that's from earlier. So, uh, yeah, so th then we've got. We can look at the. No, no, I didn't want to do that. We can look at the that specific code. There is yeah. This is just the example that we were looking at there of getting a single thing that will potentially fail. So that that's up if you want to look at it. But we can maybe turn that into um, a better description of something later on. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ed had to pop off. Um, so. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I think Junior's at work. Um, Junior, did you have any other questions? Um, no, no. <laughs> Again, sorry for being late. Hey no, hey, no problem at all. Hey, we're all, um, you know, fit, fitting this in, or what have you. There is, I'll just make sure, I'll get the video and stick that in the channel. We had kind of like a, um, uh, a sort of a discussion at the beginning and round table and, and uh, Raphael raised three points and everybody put their, their thoughts on that and uh, that, that may be interesting to review at some point. Um, but so I guess, yeah, Michael, what's your uh, availabilities now? Are you free for the rest of the day? You've got an hour here I'll and there? Be, Second? I'll be available most of the morning. Yeah. Okay, which is the next three or four hours for you? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. And I guess I should probably switch away from Async Voter and um, move to looking at all the other different website. One thing is I'm particularly interested maybe in getting a PayPal integration set up, but. Uh, yeah, R Raphael, um, I hope that that was somehow helpful and not just more enough. Yeah, that, that was helpful. Like, I mean, I definitely agree that, you know, if we just go, whichever testing route we go down, that it just yeah. clear whether we do that via comments in the REST app, you know, we need this for feature X. Right. Or, or we just do it in Cucumber so it's explicitly clear. Yeah. But, Making it so that cucumber is easy to use for us. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's got to be. I think if the testing framework is getting away in the way of get, us getting things done, then we just can't use it. So yeah. Yeah. So my my concern was uh, why we're we testing twice, and and this is really hard, at least at the moment. So yeah. Well, let's keep an eye on that, and and hopefully this will unblock it, and it will become easy. If it does not, we will you know quickly quickly review that. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll be doing another scrum later on today. Um, yeah, well, let's let's leave it there for the moment. I need to like look through my email and like go through my priority list. Um, and were you interested in pairing later? Or? Well, we 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 are conceivably. I think it would certainly be good to look at you know the different things to do. I mean, I'm I'm sort of thinking that maybe PayPal is the priority, like a PayPal integration. Uh, and and what's right. that one? Would you be interested in that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we look at. There could be a lot of research with that, though. It, it, they Just could. going forward with, because the I don't know how PayPal deals with subscriptions. Whether they yeah, do that they, or, yeah, <laughs> it would be something we would need to look into. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I need to spend half an hour just like going through my action list and the email and so on. I don't know. I'll come back to you. All right. Well, you'll send a notice in Slack. So. Yeah. All right. Bye. All right. Good stuff, guys. Bye for now. Thanks, guys. Oh, uh, and Junior, are you still moving there? Okay. Bye for now. See you later.